Welcome back to Cabin View Ventures. I just got home from picking up the new truck, so let's check this thing out. All right, here it is, 2024 F-250 XL with the 6.8 liter V8, but more importantly, I got it with the 4.3 axle ratio. No big tech packages. This is a straight work truck. Now you guys are probably wondering why in the world would I get rid of that nice Silverado 2500 with all those nice features on it for a plain Jane work truck. And I am gonna explain all of that in a little bit. But first I have some accessories I wanna put on and then we're gonna dive into the details. All right guys, running boards are on, bed covers on. Now we can walk around the truck and talk a little bit. All right guys, flash forward one week. I decided at the last minute, I wanted to get some driving time in. I pretty much had this video wrapped up. We were getting ready to leave for a family trip for the week. So I'm actually glad I did it that way. I put just over 600 miles on this truck in one week and got lots of good talking points out of it. So uh, what we're gonna do now is I wanna go over the window sticker, show you exactly how I built this truck. I ordered it at the end of May and it arrived at the end of July. So it only took two months from the time of order to the time of delivery. Now don't base your order off of my time frame because that can greatly change depending on options and color but I was pleasantly surprised it only took two months. So uh, we're gonna walk around the truck. I'm not gonna go in any particular order. I'm just gonna talk about things as they come to mind. So if I miss anything or you have any specific questions, uh, please let me know in the comments and I will address them as quickly as possible. And then lastly, I'm sure you're wondering why in the heck would I trade in that really nice Silverado for a basic work truck? And honestly, um, I, the Silverado was a great truck. I have absolutely no complaints except for that tailgate. If you guys have been following for a while, you, you'll know how much I hate that electronic tailgate, which this truck does not have. So we'll get to that a little bit later. But uh, just having that Silverado for almost a year, um, I realized, you know, I just, I didn't need all the bells and whistles. And I really just wanted a basic work truck. And this um, this F-250 XL, it's almost like an old school truck, you know? It's got the old square headlights. It drives like an old school truck. Um, it looks like an old school truck. So it's just, uh, I, I kind of appreciate those more basic features and the price point too. You know, it's $10,000 cheaper because you're getting a lot less. So. Not only did it help out financially, it covers all of my needs that I need in a work truck. You know, I need to be able to haul a lot, I need to be able to tow a lot, 
and this thing can handle all of that with absolutely no problem. I definitely prefer having a three quarter ton over a half ton. So I wasn't gonna go back down to a half ton truck. And I like um, the XL, Ford's XL configuration over Chevy's work truck trim. Um, I think this truck looks better and you get some nicer features in that XL package without having to go, you know, too overboard with technology, which trust me, this thing does not have much technology in it, which is uh, one of the best things about it. So let's take a look at that window sticker. We're going to start there and then we'll do our walk around. All right, so my main goal with this build was max towing and max payload for the cheapest price possible. So I'll freeze this here so you can get a good look at the options. And then we'll just go from top to bottom and read through this. So 2024 F-250 crew cab with the short bed, the 160 inch wheelbase, antimatter blue with the vinyl interior, and the smallest V8, the 6.8 liter V8. You cannot get this truck with the 7.3 without adding one of the big option packages. And I think that bumped the price like four or $5,000. It was quite a bit. It added to the bottom line. So I decided I, I, decided I wanted to go with the 6.8 liter to keep costs down, but to help offset uh, the towing, I went with the 4.3 differentials and that bumps the towing quite a bit. I think with the 373, you're right around uh, 14.8 for towing capacity. And when you go to the 430, you jump up to 16,600 pounds. So it's a pretty good jump. So what we have in the option list here is everything you need for max towing, max payload. And then I added a couple goodies I thought made the truck look a little bit better. Mainly the off-road package. You get the 33-inch off-road tires, which actually ride really nice. They're not that loud. Um, they handle the highway really well. And then you also get the skid plates. And then you have to pick a differential, which is why it has it listed under there. You can either go um, with the non-locking or the electronic locking diff in 373 or 430. And then as we go down, you've got your 10.5 GVWR package, um, the back glass defrost with the power sliding rear window. I think that's a must have, especially if you live in a cold region. If you drive your truck in the winter time, you know what it's like when you get snow in the bed or laying on your cover and it just rolls back onto that window and freezes and you can't see anything. So having a back glass defrost is a must have in cold weather areas. Uh, the snow plow prep with the camper package, the roof clearance lights, the upfitter switches, the 250 amp alternator uh, with the payload package upgrade. Remote start is another one of those uh, convenience package I'll, I'll say that I added on there. You know, just being in a cold climate, uh, it's nice to be able to start your truck in the morning and hop into a warm truck uh, as opposed to some frozen vinyl seats. And then the XL Chrome package with the fog lights. I think it's good to have more lighting when you can get it. And I much rather prefer the Chrome over the painted bumpers. They just hold up and age much better. Um, I think they look nice with the blue paint. So all together, we came out to $56,210. All right, so let's walk around the truck. And look at this, a manual tailgate handle. This thing does not have a damping tailgate which I really thought I would want, but using this thing over the last week, the tailgate's so light because it's aluminum, you don't need it. You just, you really don't need it. It's fine just the way it is. So very, very happy with that manual working tailgate. Right there, the 33 inch off-road tires. You got your nice steps, just like you do on the Chevy. Let's pop in the back seat. I got the kids car seats in here. Now this back seat is definitely smaller than the Silverado. I noticed that right away. This um, entry point is much more narrow than the Chevy. Just fine for me and my kids, but you know, 
really anybody. I mean, it's not, you're not going to notice it unless you, unless you're in one and hop right into the other one. So really not a big deal. You got some nice cup holders in the doors. You got the vinyl floors. I got these um, carpeted mats for it only because I, I like these to uh, absorb the water, especially in the wintertime or rainy days, as opposed to just having water sit on your vinyl floor. But you still got plenty of room back here. Some cup holders in the back, USB, 12 volt. Ugh, flips up. So plenty of charging in the back. And then your heated rear window. So plenty of room for three car seats, I can tell you that. Front seat, now because it's a basic work truck, you don't have much seat adjustment on these. Um, no up and down adjustment, just the back, and then you can slide obviously back and forth. But you cannot raise or lower this seat. I actually didn't realize that when I ordered the truck. Um, I don't know, I think that's kind of silly that any car or truck nowadays doesn't have like a six way seat in it. Uh, so, you know, a little disappointed there, but not a huge deal. And then lots of storage all through this thing. You got a cubby here. You got another cubby down here, another cubby here, another storage area up top. And then lots of storage in this seat. Your two cup holders. Let's see if I can flip this up. It's a little heavy. All right. And then all your storage underneath. All right, so you got your standard tow mirrors. They just pull out to extend. And then I already popped the hood, but let's check out the heart of the beast here. The 6.8 liter. They really tuck those engines back in there now. Uh, but this 6.8 is rated at 405 horsepower, 445 pound-feet of torque. And I think the 7.3 is 430 horsepower and 485 pound-feet of torque. So even though this is less horsepower, that 430 axle ratio really helps make up that difference. Um, Again, driver's seat, you've got some lumbar support, but still no function to raise or lower on the driver's side. Well, let's hop in. Manual key, no push button start. So you go, I'm at 631 miles. Your eight inch screen. Basic climate control functions. Your trailer brake controller. Your four wheel drive controls. Your electronic locking rear diff. You do have a lot of driving modes in this truck, which I haven't played with yet. Let me shut my door here, I'll show you. So if we flip through the drive modes, you've got normal, which I've been in since I bought the truck. I have not tried anything else out yet. Uh, you've got a slippery roads, an off-road, which automatically puts the truck into four-wheel drive. So that's kind of nice. You can flip that quick on the go. Uh, back to slippery roads, back to normal, tow and haul mode, and eco mode. So we'll go back to normal for now. Uh, fuel mileage wise in that 630 miles was actually pretty good. Let me go down. Oh, I didn't do it. 
this was my last trip I did. I didn't save this one. Um, that 600 miles I put on the truck, my I just reset it because I filled up and just did a short trip back from the gas station. But that fuel mileage average was 14.3. So I was actually really impressed with the loaded down truck, my whole family in it, and uh, all highway miles, of course. But even with that 430 diff, you know, still getting 4.3 on a truck that's brand new, not even broken in yet. Um, I think this is going to be a lot better than the Chevy that Silverado had 5,000 miles on it and my highway average on that truck was just over 14. So um, I think with this thing in econo mode and a broken in motor, uh, we're going to do pretty good for a heavy duty pickup truck. Obviously not the biggest concern, but it's still nice to get whatever you can out of fuel mileage. All right, let me show you the backup camera here. So your basic backup camera, no flashy gimmicky stuff on the screen, as simple as it gets. No rear park sensors. You can see exactly where you are with the color coded lines. You got the little dots to line up your trailer. And that eight inch screen is big enough to give you a good view of what's back there. So plenty for uh, rear, rear visibility. And then down here, you got more USBs, another 12 volt, more USBs over here, and another 12 volt over here. So lots of ways to charge and store stuff in this truck. Basic interior, but really all you need in a work truck. Oh, the roof switches. So you got your upfitter switches on the roof there. Your interior lights. All your window controls, your mirror. The parking brake is electronic. You got your auto headlights. So, not too bad. No fancy gas cap on this thing. Just your standard twist off. These are E85 capable, but just run them on regular 87 fuel is plenty. And then back to this wonderful, glorious, basic tailgate. I love it. Absolutely love it. It's a good looking truck. We'll do one more walk around here. Now, before I forget, I wanted to show you guys that payload sticker. We already talked a lot about towing, getting the 16,600 pounds of towing capacity. Payload on this, 3,823 pounds. So, pretty impressive uh, payload capacity. All right, so pretty impressive specs for a $56,000 three quarter ton work truck. I think this is going to be absolutely perfect for what we need and I will definitely keep you guys updated on our ownership of this, how we like the truck, any issues we might have, how it's handling the work we're going to throw at it and how that fuel mileage is doing as well because even though it's a heavy duty work truck, it's still nice to know uh, how much fuel mileage you're going to get out of it. And then lastly, I finalized the purchase of the new piece of equipment coming in. I actually did that this morning. So that will arrive in probably about two weeks. So from the time I post this video, it'll be about two weeks 
until you see our first video of the new piece of equipment coming in. So stay tuned for that. All right, guys, that's going to wrap things up. Please let me know if you have any questions or comments. I appreciate you all being here. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you on the next one.